The members all moved to Lolowat soon after Parliament was adjourned this morning to April 20, 2021. In a media conference from Lolowata, the Prime Minister said the adjournment to April 2021 is to give government time to plan well, as important government programs will start next year from April onwards. The adjournment to April is to ensure that by January we allow schools to start, and February and March we want to attend to national census uh, and common role up, uh, census and common role uh, together so that we could prepare a cleaner better population data for 2021 in fact leading up to 2022 elections i think leaders of political party prime ministerial aspirants all need to be given a fair opportunity in a contest at 2022 and i give this commitment to all who are with me that the reason why the caucus allowed for deferral to april 20th next year is for us to have stability in the first two months so we could or three months we could attend to getting school started and some of those key national programs that we need to do. Marape thanked the people of PNG for their patience over the last four weeks. The Papua Indians, I do apologize for them. Uh, voters have their say in 2022. Once you elect a member, member into parliament then that member now based on his conscience uh, conducts himself on the, on the floor of parliament or conducts himself in the office of being a member of parliament. So uh, they have their choices. Uh, we can lock up their choice. We can lock up their freedom. That's what uh, Section 50 of our constitution entails. In thanking John Pundari, Sam Basil and other members of parliament who moved back to government, he said he has been in communication with these members and while he is not perfect, he has welcomed correction from both government and other members who just joined and he looks forward to working with renewed relationship while understanding each other. I am privileged and blessed to have Sir John Pundari and the team that has come back to us. I'm, I'm really blessed to have the Honorable Sam Basil uh, and his team that has come back to us. I'm truly blessed to have the Pangus who left us. Their names hasn't been scraped off the Pangu rolls. And with 70 members of parliament now in his camp, it's now time to finalize the ministerial portfolios. Let me announce that tomorrow, uh, based on consultation, we will put forward the, the permanent cabinet of our country, uh, including the vacancies that we've been carrying for some time through acting or caretaker capacity. Member for Bulolo, Sam Basil, thanked the Prime Minister for having open dialogue with him and listening to him, something both him and Pundari commended Marape of. I'm not ashamed to stand here to talk and tell you that this is part of our democratic process. This process sometimes happens to tell the Prime Minister of any nation that operates under the same law and the system to tell him that, look, sometimes we don't agree on these things, but we have to agree, you have to listen to us. And I'm happy that the Prime Minister is happy, is listening to those. We've wasted, I say sorry to the group and all the groups, Papua New Guinea, that we've wasted four weeks of Papua New Guinea time. We've wasted four weeks. This, I must say, that it's a learning curve for all of us. Yes, we have had votes of no confidences in the past. But this one, I have experienced a Prime Minister who was different in that he was willing to admit mistakes if there was any. Meantime, Marape said his government stands firm on their priority agenda, which is to take back the resources of this country, and he will continue to pursue this. Ruth Rungula, National MTV News.